DNS. These three letters play a crucial role in today's internet. Just about all devices on the internet communicate using IP addresses. These are generally pretty boring and hard to remember, so one day a bunch of smart people came up with DNS, the domain name system, to make it easier for humans to connect to those other devices. Think of it like the contacts list on your phone. You don't necessarily memorize each phone number. You just select the name of the person you're calling and the phone dials the corresponding number for you. A DNS server acts just like a contact list for domains online. You enter a domain like wikipedia.org into the address bar, and the browser uses a DNS server to find the IP of Wikipedia and load the website. In most cases, your device will be using the default DNS server supplied by your very generous and definitely trustworthy internet provider. However, this means that your provider can and is often legally required to store every website you visit for at least six months, often even more. If you're on a school, office, or public Wi-Fi, the admins for those networks can all see the websites you visit as well. Oh, and don't be fooled by incognito or private mode in your browser. Even with those modes enabled, you're still visiting websites, which means you're still making DNS queries, which get recorded by network admins and ISPs. But fear not, noble internet citizen. Once again, that's where Windscribe comes in. <laughs> Son of a... Ah, to save the day. While connected to any Windscribe VPN location, you'll be using our own internal DNS. By connecting to the VPN, you're telling your device to let Windscribe convert domain names into IP addresses. This ensures your ISP or any sneaky network admins are unable to look at the websites you're visiting. And even if they try, all they'll see is you connecting to the same Windscribe server over and over. Pretty cool, huh? Using our own DNS servers also helps us provide additional safeguarding features, one of those being Robert, our state-of-the-art domain blocking tool. In simple terms, Robert has a set of block lists to protect you from unwanted ads, malware, phishing, and other malicious or annoying entities roaming the internet that threaten your privacy and security. For example, enabling our ads and tracker block lists will prevent thousands of ad and tracker domains from even loading when you browse the internet. Just one toggle will make your browsing experience a lot less annoying without those ads, a lot more private without those trackers, and it'll also have a significant impact on your browsing speed and data usage, especially on mobile, since you're no longer loading all that useless junk onto your device anymore. Think of Robert like a bouncer at a club. He's got the list of who can come in and who can't. If a website pulls up with its tracker friends, Robert lets the website in, but those trackers get kicked to the curb since they're on the block list. Now, you might be wondering, where does this list even come from? Well, Robert uses the latest and greatest community-sourced block lists, automatically updated every 30 minutes. But we've also been curating them ourselves since 2017 to minimize false positives and stay current with privacy threats. If you want to use Robert, simply log into your account on our website and head over to the Robert tab, where you'll see all the available block lists. You can also access Robert block lists through the Winscribe apps by navigating to Preferences and Robert. Just a quick note, Robert is a bit stubborn and currently only hangs out in the desktop and mobile apps. The Winscribe browser extensions, they use their own domain blocking. For even more control over your browsing, you can block, whitelist, or spoof any domains with Robert's custom rules, which can be found under this tab in the Robert settings of your account. Say you wanted to block, oh, I don't know, timesuckwebsite.com. Just enter timesuckwebsite.com here, select block from the dropdown, and click the green plus button. Now, if you're connected to the VPN and you visit the site, guess what? Nope, blocked just like all the other unwanted domains in the block list. Now, let's say you're not fully sold and still want to use your own DNS of choice. Well, Winscribe is one of the very few VPNs that allows you to connect using your own custom DNS in the VPN tunnel with our revolutionary connected DNS option. You can find this under Preferences, Connections, and Connected DNS. Once you select the custom mode, you can specify your own DNS server or the DNS of a third party that you want to use. You can use the safest encrypted protocols such as DNS over HTTPS or DNS over TLS, or just use the classic unencrypted legacy DNS. And guess what? There's more. For those weary of stashing all your eggs in one basket, you can even take it a step further and split your DNS in the Winscribe app with the split DNS feature. This allows you to input multiple DNS servers and, you guessed it, split your DNS queries between them. Just enable this split DNS toggle here, input your second DNS resolver in this box, and just like that, the domains you want to will now go through this DNS resolver. And there you have it, folks. You're basically a DNS and Robert expert now. Go forth and employ your own personal internet bouncer with the flip of a few switches to keep your browsing safe and secure. That's all for this one, folks. My name's Gary, and I'll see you out there. God, I look like an idiot. What am I doing?